Hey, what's going on, everybody? Audio testing, that's all. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is John Hammond. Welcome back to another YouTube video and tutorial. And just a little bit ago, I was looking through my logic book, like the logic puzzles thing, and I saw something that looked like a Caesar cipher. So I was like, okay, sure, I can do that. But I figured I want to write my own Caesar cipher. So I looked up, you know, easy ways to do a Caesar cipher in Python. If you don't know what the Caesar cipher is, I mean, you can obviously do a little bit of research on your own. Um, really, it just shifts one letter in the alphabet, or at least every single letter in the alphabet, to a different position uh, by a number. So you can see that, that kind of demonstration, or at least that picture, shows it pretty well over there. So you can get a plain text, and all it's doing is just shifting the position of one letter in the alphabet to a different position, and the cipher text that comes out looks pretty crazy. So... It's very, very easy to reverse, obviously, because you just have to figure out what that key is, and then uh, that kind of thing. So anyway, I want to look up how I could do this really easily in Python. So I looked up Caesar Cipher in Python, and there was some stuff, like I found a lot of stuff on it, but it all looked like it was writing a whole lot more code than it needed to actually write. At least I thought this could be done pretty easily and pretty, pretty simply in Python. Like I saw an eight-minute video on how to do this thing on YouTube. So I figured... There's got to be a way that's easy. So I thought about, well, all it really is, it's like shifting letters and letters in a string, or like you could have a letter being alphabet in, in Python. And I thought that's really just an array. All it's doing is shifting it, so I looked up ways to shift a list or an array in Python, and this guy responded, there's the DQ or DEC or whatever this is in the collections module, and it looks like it's totally meant to be able to do that. That has a rotate function that allows you to shift an array just like that and wraps it real easily in Python. So I figured, okay, I could totally put that together with some stuff. So I started to poke at it. Here we go. In idle, I imported collections and from that I worked with this DEQ thing. So right now it has nothing in it, but if I were to if I actually take a look at its documentation, sorry. It can be an array, pretty much, and that's, you can append to it, you can clear it, you can remove and reverse and obviously rotate. So it looks like just exactly an array or a list. So I could obviously add stuff to it, I could append A and B, that kind of thing, and I'd be able to rotate it, right? Rotate by one, and now it's shifted, it's just like that. So if I gave it the whole alphabet, ASCII uppercase, and I said I wanted a deck of that whole thing. Oh, sorry, it should be collections. Now I have all of it, and I can rotate just like I did before by one, and I get the whole thing rotated. So it gives us to us though in this like interesting deck uh, format, but I wanted that as a list. Or at least a, a, a list, right? So I can take the list of that, and that gives them to me as a list. That's awesome. But I wanted that as a string. So I took the list of the string of A. But that just took a string with the list, <laughs> like the braces and the commas and everything in it. That's not what I wanted. I wanted a, a string. So I had to, to join it with an empty string. Oh, I had an extra parenthesis there. So now I have a full rotated uppercase string. And I can, like, put that together with the rotate and function like we had done before, and I can put it together with the string.translate function to actually translate one alphabet to this new alphabet, rotated to any certain position. So we could write that really easily. Let's do it. If I get Sublime Text open, create a new script, call mine CaesarCypher.py, add my shebang line, And let's just define a function that can do this for us. I'll call mine Caesar. And we're going to need the string to rotate by. Rotate string. And we're going to need a number to rotate by. So let's import the stuff we need. We need, obviously, the string library to get all of those letters. And we need collections. So now we can actually create those uppercase strings that we wanted. 
And since the number to rotate by is now a variable, we can make this whatever we want. We could just have upper be collections dot deck of string dot ASCII uppercase, right? Uh, the pep8 standard wants two lines for a new function, so I'll, I'll add that there. And now we'll do the same thing with lower, right? Because we want to be able to rotate lowercase letters as well. And now we'll rotate both of these. Upper dot rotate by the number to rotate by. We'll do the same thing for lower. And now let's actually convert these to a string just like we had done before. We can say upper equals the list form of upper, so we converted it, and now we'll actually make that a string by joining with an empty string, right? We'll do the same thing for lower. Now, well, all we have to do, we can actually print these out. I'll show you that it works just fine for us. If I run Caesar, since I'm just demonstrating, we don't actually have to pass in a string here. But if I pass in zero, it gives us a rotated uppercase by zero. If I rotated it by one, now it rotates it just like that. If we rotate it by negative two, it rotates it just like that, etc., etc. So easy, easy. These these strings are working the way we want them to. Now all we have to do is actually make that translation with the string that we're working with. So our rotate string, we can go ahead and translate. If you've never seen that function. We'll do a little bit of research for you. Python string translate. Looks like you can translate certain values to something else. But you have to use this make trans function. It will allow you to actually put these all together in a proper table that the translate function can work with. So, if we did rotate string dot tr translate string dot make trans Python string make trans, let's take a look at what that actually is. Return a translation table suitable for passing into translate that maps each character from the from and to arguments that are passed into it. And they must have the same length. Well, since we're working with the whole alphabet, that works just fine for us right now. We can use make trans with our original alphabet, string.ascii uppercase, and our new translated up, uh, uppercase variables. And we've done this now with just the uppercase letters, but we're going to have to do it again with the lowercase variables. So if I do a dot translate. If I just copy what we have so far and I just change it to use lowercase, it will now use lower. And now we can simply run Caesar. We'll print out what Caesar returns us. This is too easy without being shifted. Now once we shifted it, it changes it. Same thing by shifting it again and again and again. So what we can do at this point is actually brute force the entire thing. If we were given a set, uh, Caesar cipher and just hand it to us for i in range length of string.ascii uppercase, so the whole length of the alphabet, we can print out Caesar, let's just say our, our string can equal, this is too easy, let's just print the current iteration we're on right now, Caesar, and just a little bar to divide it. And then our string, let's fix that pet page centered. And then I, so rotating it by all of these. And now we've literally just gone through every single iteration of the this is too easy string with our Caesar cipher. And all it is is one simple function that's like literally probably 10 lines of code. It literally says in Sublime Text right now, that's just 10 lines of code. We didn't do any disgusting plus or minus all on our own. We just let Python kind of handle it in the background. So there it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Real simple, but kind of an interesting way to uh, translate our string, make trans, and rotate around the whole alphabet really easily. So 
Thanks for watching. Now you have a whole Caesar Cipher Brute Forcer, and you can multiply it, or I'm sorry, supply whatever offset you want to and create your own Caesar Ciphers real easily. Thanks, guys. Adios.